freedom is not to do what you want but what you ought have you ever seen a donkey anywhere in your life just roaming about without a without a master has anybody ever seen a, a horse just roaming about and not have a master we have not seen that in, in, in natural life. We're not seeing that ever. A donkey just roaming about and nobody has to claim for it. Same thing happens when we receive deliverance, when we receive freedom. We don't receive freedom just to be free. We receive freedom that we can have and be bound to a different master and that's Jesus Christ. Amen church? There's this, there's this um, how can I say, a sick thinking that people come to church and say, I want to be set free from depression. I want to be set free from drugs so I can do what I want. You guys heard that before? <laughs> you know, I want Jesus to deliver me so I can live a good life. You know, I want to, Jesus to deliver me so I can do what I want. You know why Satan fell from heaven? Because Satan wanted to be God. Satan, Satanism, it's not, you know, worshiping evil or anything. Satanists, they worship self. They, they, they worship and they do whatever they want. There's something worse than being addicted to drugs. It's becoming a God. It's doing what you want because that's why Satan has fallen from heaven. Because said, I will become like a God. And that's when God kicked him out of heaven and this is where Satan has ended up. So we have to understand that freedom is not that we can do what we want, but we can do what we ought to do is to have our relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen, church? Freedom is not just being delivered from evil, but replacing that evil with Jesus Christ. Amen, church? We are to be free with a purpose. We are to be delivered with a purpose. And that purpose is to win souls and make disciples. Amen, church? Being free is a dangerous ground. Being free is dangerous when you are not filled. It is dangerous to be free when you're not occupied and when you will not have a master. We have to understand the Bible clearly, clearly talks about, it says that if you're not hot and if you're not cold, Jesus Christ will spew you out of your mouth. He, he, it's, it's, it is dangerous for us to sit in the middle, to be able to just attend church and not get involved, not to get to know Jesus Christ because it's a dangerous ground. Sooner or later, you'll begin to slide back. And when people come to the altar call and they give their life to Jesus and I get a chance to meet with them, to talk to them and I, and I tell them one thing, do everything you can to get involved. Do everything you can not to be free because that freedom is a disguise. Is that freedom that you think I can do whatever I want whereas Satan is lurking behind that freedom and he'll capture you right back. You have to understand you will never be free. You'll be a slave to something. You'll either be slave to sin or to Jesus Christ. You will be either a slave to Jesus or to Satan. You cannot live a life that is free. It's not possible sooner or later you understand you if you do not become a slave to Jesus Christ you will become slave to depression you'll become slave to suicidal thoughts you become slave to sickness you become slave to something but you can never live a life that's just free you will be a slave to something and it's to be a slave to Jesus Christ is that as we want because Jesus Christ says I came to give life and life more abundantly amen when you become when Jesus Christ has become your master when Jesus Christ becomes your everything that is a life worth living that is a life with peace that is a life with comfort that is a life that when somebody looks and says you know I wish to have that life because that is a life that is found in Jesus Christ amen church